This is where we should put on um, one of our lovely CDs, you know. Um, <laughs> what's the name? Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, good shot. What a shot. Oh, that's six of the best at a moment like this. Can you believe it? I've been saying all along, been watching the game, swan has bowled too straight at him. Gives him the opportunity to hit to leg. Oh, Jeffrey Boycott, so there's something to say about him. 49 this pair and 43 balls. I think if it hit the stumps, it was all over. Can you get all of them in? One, two, three, four, five. Probably not. Mm. No one well, there's only just a quiet snooze, isn't it? Is it? The phone was leaving your foot, has it? Mm. Well, you're going to have to sleep down here, mm. aren't you? Mm. I'll lick you to give you a bath that you never had before. And you. <laughs> what? Sweet, isn't it? Parts all over. Look at this one. It was fast to see. My mum is now giving it a bar. Too sweet. But yeah, mum's got her foot on on this one. You're not going anywhere. And now he wants a bath. Whoops. It's probably do it. It's a little oh, bit more light. Could not be any more cute. You can put the light up. Yeah. Oh, I just want to sleep. And then mother comes along and gives me an enormous great bath. You <laughs> see? Didn't happen, did it? No, no. What happened there? It's a bit bemused. <laughs> Running away in shame. She said, we're going to say so cute that you will possibly want to get rid of us. Attacking the, the sofa. Let's kill it, kill it. Yes! Oh, Mr. Lewis gambled you in a poker game, sir, and I'm. Wait. Big eating a tail. Mummy knows 
They're still snacking on mum when they when they find her lying down. They just think, what are you doing? And they <laughs> all the blades of sheep, in fact. Auspices, which is a word we use a lot, the auspices of good. Technically, is reading the flight patterns of birds. We read the auspices in all kinds of other ways, but essentially, mm. it's what humans do. Don't we? Yeah. we see patterns in things anywhere, and we'll try and read something. Like the weather forecast. The weather forecast is wrong. Yeah. Always wrong. Yeah. We might just as well be reading the entrails of kid goats and things like that. I think I would have watched Bill Giles a lot more had he. The <laughs> joke of the baby goat. Cut open a goat and go, <laughs> well, it's going to be wet in Biddeford tomorrow. <laughs> What would hippomancy mean? I need body there. <laughs> Divining by the use of a circus. Mm -hmm. Or possibly just horses. Horses, indeed. Hippos, how do you feel with the picture? Give it away in the background. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's what's been going on here. Horses are, in fact, about as intelligent as tropical fish in terms of brain power. Mm -hmm. uh, they have extremely good memories. What was particularly clever what? about? Clever hands. Yes. We were on a famous in his day. Mm -hmm. Couldn't it count or give answers mm -hmm. to something? Yeah, not just count, it could do square roots. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't quite a call, it was something else. It wasn't it, it could be body language. Exactly right. right. You could see people going, Bless. <laughs> oh, is, it? is it? Is it? Is it? And they're going, No! And they still much about something. Which is basically what Darren Brown often does. If you train yourself to know how to read someone's body language, the tiniest movement of an eye, the tiniest is, flexing of a muscle somewhere, all those sort of things, you can, really, as it were, read someone's body language. And this it. is what the horse was doing. But Darren Brown's a bit brighter than He's a lot brighter than the horse. Do you know what? He's got one great trick. You know when you've got an empty seat while you're in a train, mm. and you don't want anyone to sit there? He says you're insane to put things on the chair to stop people sitting there. The trick is, as they approach, you smile at them and pat the seat. Yeah. Mm. This is a Every day they have to reinvent the world. You know, you go, oh, what's that? It's a piece of paper. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a hedge. You saw one yesterday. For Christ's sake, get a grip. Oh, oh, oh. You look so much like my nan then. <laughs> it's a hedge, nan. <laughs> so, anyway, what's the best thing to do with a dead donkey? Yes, Christmas dinner. A lovely Christmas dinner. <laughs> if you're having the big family round, the donkey will go a long, long uh... way. A big old cavity, plenty of stuffing. <laughs> Can you be hung like a dead donkey? <laughs> People had this idea that donkeys knew when their death was coming and went away and apart from everyone else, like elephants are said to do. And therefore, to see a dead one is apparently very rare, although they're common. So it's because you're very lucky to jump over it. One, two, three times. Relate flight. The word donkey. When did it come into the English language? I had to. When was Don Quixote published? Oh, yes. It's quite not the word ass yeah. all the way through the 16th, 17th centuries, most of the 18th century. In the late 18th century, it suddenly appeared. The word donkey. But it was pronounced donkey, like monkey. If we wiped out every single mule on this planet today, all of them, Ooh. by next year, yeah. there'd be well, 10,000 of them. Really? really? Are taking that, are we? How would that work? Because they're hybrids. They can't breed amongst no, no, themselves. No, no, exactly, yes. They can't actually breed amongst no, they themselves, can't. though, so they rely on that. I see so you what can you mean, out. So You can still have horses getting yes. donkeys, and you still get the uh, mule population. You'll, you'll still have horses getting donkeys. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to put it mildly. I didn't want to say we're cloning them. <laughs> Which way round is it? Though? It's the female horse. It's correct, and the male donkey. So it's the donkey that does the, the donkey. He's little. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So donkeys are quite intelligent. They have to find a box. No. Uh, because in one department, Phil, the donkey is blessed. Oh, you see? Well, that's a long reach. That's <laughs> it. In fact, the donkey can do it from a different field. It yes. just... <laughs> I think Mummy might have seen a mouse. He's seen something.
All right, they, they've got the carpet to play with. Bradley Wiggins just leapt up. She's in a bait. Some people felt that. He'd gone away for a year or so and come back amazingly good and so much better, better than anyone had ever heard blues. And how did he die of it? What happened? Because oh, did, he was did the devil claim his soul at the end? Yeah. Not shot. Oh, yeah, poison. It's all legend. Poison. Yes. Poison. Was, poison. was he poison? Strychnine in the whiskey. <laughs> he died in his 20s. He was an absolute classic sort of case of booze and whiskey and women and, uh, and wandering. And, yes, uh, but you can't write the blues if you live a lovely life and you go jogging. The and... Giles Brandreth Book of Blues. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there you are. That's a great story of Robert Johnson. Now, what is the first computer ever to beat the <coughs> Grandmaster Chess <coughs> now doing? Can you get this? Is it filtering calls for BT? <laughs> You're so close to being right. If you have a billing query, move it knight to bishop three. <laughs> well, that was very good. It's actually slightly more disturbing. It's working for United Airlines as a reservations clerk. <laughs> 
Didn't Kasparov say actually that, that it, he found it actually had intelligence? It was shifting. It was actually deeper blue, I think, when it beat You're it. absolutely it, right. Deep blue. Named after, isn't IBM called the Big Blue? It is. It is. Yeah, it is. And that and their amount of... Deep Thought. Deep Thought, which is... In the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, I thought it was split in half, actually. It was in museums. They well, yeah, they did. I mean, they're only using part of it. It was immensely powerful. But then they cheat, and actually what, what Kasper pointed out is that it, was, it, it managed to spot his trap in the sixth game. Or something. Absolutely was... right. He set a trap in game two, which the computer could only have avoided by thinking creatively, leading Kasparov to accuse IBM of cheating, and leading Stephen Fry to accuse Johnny Vaughan of cheating and reading his cards. It was so accurate. Well done. Very good. <laughs> Play the match against Nigel Shaw. It really is absolutely terrifying. You can feel this energy coming out of him. It hunches over the board and moves the pieces. They, even the way they move the pieces have names. You know, Vasily Smyslov, who was a very great grandmaster for a long period in the 50s, he used to move his pieces like that and give a slight twist. Oh, well, flourish! And still to this day, known as the Smyslov screw. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as it's if you're screwing it into the yeah. board, it's really extraordinary. But he did complain that it was actually starting to show intelligence rather than just cold logic. And exactly. Two well, on Bedum, 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 How many pairs of you pairs wear of this feet? sofa beast? <laughs> How many yes. feet does the sofa beast How have? How many feet does the sofa beast have? A lot of feet. A lot of feet. Is <laughs> what does the sofa beast look like? I don't know, but it's got a lot of feet. Oh, there's a kitten coming to check out the sofa beast. Is this actually better than Alcamilla Mollis? No, nothing is better than Alcamilla Mollis. You know this. Hey, Bradley. What are your nutty children doing? She doesn't know. She's leaving in disgust. Thank you, Will. They're mad. Anyone else under there? Is there another grey number? There is! There's a little hiding grey number. Look. Can we coax him out? Can't see him. What are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. You turned to black? <laughs> A vicious feast. Aren't you, Elba? Oh, I'm under attack. What happens? It's a hot day. 
They sleep all day with only slight decimation of the alchemical mollusk, and this is what happens when the sun goes down. Everybody gets up and is frantically, frantically energetic without it all. Attacking from above by the little things here, it's exciting. Because it easily incapacitates the Jew, she knows exactly what she's doing. Pah, fatty. Left your own devices, wash yourself. <laughs> 